Hey everyone, welcome back to Mid-Sized and Middle-Aged. My name's Joy and I'm going to do a Stitch Fix unboxing because I finally got my first Stitch Fix in ages and this one is the first one since I worked for them. I stopped working for them in March. So um, it's been a few, like four months since I've had a Stitch Fix and I haven't done many videos. If you follow my channel, you probably know that. Um, I didn't decide to not do videos. Um, I'm just extremely busy with makeup and I know that's such a lame cop out, but it's the truth. And I'm glad you are watching this. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. Subscribe, I may or may not make videos. So alas, this is what you will get. Um, today I am wearing a dress from one of the designer Target collections. Um, let me move it down so you can see. It's a maxi dress and it's very, very colorful. And it does feel like it's kind of like one of those dresses you can wear like only once or twice. This is my second time wearing it. I wore it for a wedding. It's not a good sitting dress either. It also might be just a little snug through here. Um, so that's what I have on now. Very summery. I'm feeling dresses. So I did get the Stitch Fix preview. That's a little too high. I got the preview with my fix and um, I felt like everything was more expensive than what I was typically getting before, but I also liked it more. So I chose four things for my preview and let her choose a wild card. And honestly, like, I don't even remember which of the four, cause then I kind of cheated and saw like what they sent me. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything and I probably won't know necessarily after trying everything on, but I'm gonna see what they sent and try it on. And I've already had it for two days, but I had three weddings. I do makeup if you, don't know yet. Um, so I had three weddings to do in the last two days. And then we just got back from a trip to Seattle, um, basically at midnight on Wednesday slash Thursday. So Thursday I was completely recovering from our trip. And then Friday I had a wedding, Saturday I had two weddings. So it's been a little bit of a lot. So it was sitting there for the last two days and I'm finally getting to it. All right, this is my style card. Oh, I get to read a note from somebody else. That's actually kind of exciting. Okay, hopefully it doesn't ruin it. Hey, Joy, is the sun shining in Columbus? I had the honor of styling this fix for you. So fun that you used to be a stylist at Stitch Fix as well. Your profile note and request was super helpful as I was picking out some fun, unique pieces for you. Love that you found some you wanted to try from the preview. As per your feedback from the preview, I found you a fun skirt. Okay, so the skirt that they sent was the one that was added. I love the sanctuary skirt because skirt for you because it seems romantic yet young and unique. How does it fit? I thought this would look great with a plain tee or even a pretty white or black blouse for a more dressy look. Another fun look is the marine layer romper. How fun. Do you like the pattern? Style with some fun white sneaks. That's not me. For casual or block heels. That's more me. To dress it up. Excited to see your feedback, Joy XO Gabrielle. So Gabrielle's never styled me, and I did say in my note I was like, I'm picky, and I know I'm picky, so it's not like I'm gonna be like, she sucks. It's like, no, it's me. I know, like, I know it's me. All right, so let's check out the bundle. I know it's gonna have some fun colors. Ooh, I see watermelon. I think that's the romper. Oh gosh, these are good colors. This is very summery. We have maybe like another, I'm sure there's like another two months of summer, but I feel like there's like another four weeks that I'm gonna be in the mood for summer. And then by like end of August, middle end of August, I'll be like, all right, like let's bring on the fall fashion because I just get a little fatigued of the summer vibe. Um, and I do, I do love fall, like the feel of fall, but the pending doom of winter, don't love. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite season is. I'm a spring girl, but I do like the fashion that's like a little bit more like, you know, darker and edgier of fall. All right, so I've got my pricing sheet and as I, you know, try on each piece, I'll actually, no, before I try it on, I'll try to remember to tell you as I'm taking it out of the bundle. All right, so first item is a flowy tank top. Wow, that looks very flowy. This is from Dear John. It has adjustable straps, which I do like, but this looks really large. Like, I'll try it on, obviously. I love the color. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the handkerchief hem. That feels like a little early aughts, maybe like 
2005-ish. Um, but I don't hate it. Maybe it's a little throwbacky. I know that this is like a high-end brand. So let's see. The Dear John Giselle Hanky Hem. Hanky, what a horrible word. Knit tank in purple in large, $48. This is way bigger than I would expect. I feel like if I like this one, I'm going to want to get a medium. But we shall see. It might hang really nicely, so I'm being all judgy. All right, this romper. I'm very interested in this romper. Um, uh, Marine Layer. This is a pricey brand, too. I freaking love the watermelon. I love the little ruffles. Um, that is extremely open in the front, so I will be wearing like a bralette, like something probably solid colored. And this looks small. Like, I don't know that this is going to fit me. I'm going to show you the bottom. Like, the short inseam is like negligible. Like I'm 46, almost 47. Like, yeah, you know, got some. I got some flabs. I got some flabs. <laughs> I got some slabs. I got some flab. And the inner thigh is. <sighs> but I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna keep an open mind. Um, I love the pattern. I like the cut. I wish it was longer, and it looks small. So Marine Layer Camilla Romper in white. Obviously, it's not just white. A little combo. In large, 125. Um, yeah, 125. And this is why I tell people not to rule out white. Like, I don't like white, but look, this is like yellow, orange, teal, blue, red, pink. Like, this is not just white. There's strawberries on it too. Oh my god, this is so cute. If they have this in an extra large. And it's, if it's too small and they have it in stock in an extra large. But $125? Am I going to wear that enough? Okay, let's move on. Um, this is adorable. I love this print. I wasn't sure based on the picture. Okay, what is this? Um, B Collection Samira Maxi Dress. Oh, I like this. Um, so summery and light. It feels really nice. I like the colors. I don't know if you can see. It's got like a little green, which I feel like kind of, it just adds more interest than just all the like red, orange, and like butter yellow. I like the green and it does have some navy, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, Samira Maxi dress in pink. Okay. Um, is this the Samira Maxi dress from B Collection? Can I say that a little bit higher? Uh, yeah, this is the Samira pink. So interesting like this is definitely more like a tangerine combo anyway it's 74 so yes pricey but not the worst by a long shot um and i kind of like these the raw edges can you see that it's all around the entire top and then also adjustable straps kind of see-through it does have a self belt and it looks like um not exactly a straight column style it might have just a little bit more width around the bottom, which will be good for my shape. All right, let's move on. What is this one? Oh gosh, this is gorgeous. What is this? Free People Heat Wave Maxi Dress. So Free People's never cheap. This is purple for $108, so less than the romper. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, it's got like a cool back thing. Can you see that? Kind of like slides back and forth. Um, so it's kind of open in the back. It's got smocking on the top. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know, I freaking love purple. I do. I do. I love purple. And this is like, the one is kind of more of a, a pinky brownish purple, but the one is like the real true, like cool tone purple. That's my absolute, I'm going to say jam. That's pretty dated, isn't it? Um, the bottom has a ruffle hem and is super pretty and it's super light and it looks small, but I think it'll fit because it's, um, small in the place where I'm smaller. And then the sanctuary skirt that she added is the last thing. Um, super cute, but I don't think it's going to be flattering on me and I'm going to have to get a shirt to try it on with. Um, so it is a subtle animal print and again, like I wouldn't wear this with white. I would probably wear this with like a bright color or a graphic tee, like knotted up, 
with like a chunky heel. I don't also know, I think I've gained like three pounds. So last I checked, I was up like two from my very lowest and like one from my normal. I know like one pound doesn't make that much of a difference, but I've also, you know, been working out for the last six months more so than I did before. So I definitely feel like, yeah, muscle like can weigh more. I don't know. Like I feel like there's just maybe some thickness right now. <laughs> and also maybe this dress is just a little bit snug. All right, so I'm gonna come back and try on everything. I might need to go get like a tankini and a t-shirt. So be right back. I have on the first item, which is the tank top. It is from Dear John. And I was right. I actually shortened it up a whole, whole lot. It is very, very flowy. I feel like 40 some pounds ago, I would have really enjoyed this. And then I forgot to bring like bottoms that I would wear with it. So I have on bike shorts because I have on bike shorts underneath my last dress. Um, so they'll do <laughs> for trying on stuff, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's not flattering. It um, makes me look like a tent. It's not good. Nothing more you can really say. She did a great job. Like this is a beautiful tank top. It's just not flattering on my body. So um, when I, shortened it up. I love the color. The print's fine. Like, yeah, I'm not feeling the handkerchief hem. Like I said, it feels like a little 10, 15 years dated. Um, and then this is like super duper loose. So yeah, it's just not my vibe. Next. I am back with the romper from Marine Layer on. It fits just barely. Um, it's kind of hard to get into like getting it over my shoulders and I'm only 5'5", five five, so maybe it is a little bit on the small side. Um, but yeah, it fit through my problem area right through here, so that's good. Um, I think it's actually like cute and comfortable, but it's so, so low that even with this coral cami, like you can kind of see the bottom of it. And I feel like for work, I can't wear this. I'm not going to like fancy picnics or like, can't wear it to a wedding, you know? So I'm just thinking, I mean, it's so short, I can see my bike shorts. Um, it has pockets, it has a little belt, and this print is so sweet. Like this is just adorable. It, I mean, I'm gonna watch the playback, but I don't think I'm gonna be wearing this. I, I think it would sit there and I would critique that I look too wide in this direction. And um, that's oftentimes what I'm looking for is like, do I feel like I look good? Like, yeah, it's cute to look at, but do I look good in it? And I think from the front, it's kind of adorable, but from the side, it is a hard no. So, oh well, and $125, I'm okay to save that. All right, I have on the B Collection dress. It's not cute on me either. So I just feel like the pattern and the saturation or lack of saturation of color I'm gonna tilt it down a little bit. So I will watch the playback and see if I feel differently about it. But it just kind of looks like meh. Um, I do like how lightweight it feels. I mean, it feels high quality, but the design of it is not like, it's just like so, hmm, it doesn't do anything. I don't know, maybe I'm just having an off week with the bod. Um, kind of fits strangely around here too. Like I don't have a very large chest, so it feels like, oh no, I just feel like a tube. All right, she's doing a great job though. This is my body, it's just me. All right, let's see. Now we're talking. This actually hugs me in the place I wanna be hugged. The flowiness is just, it feels like summertime pretty, but I haven't seen it in full length mirror, so you might see differently. Um, I took off the little orange cami bra thing and um, just kept on the gray bralette that I have on. I don't mind the extra strap showing. I don't know, that might bother some people. I like that it's kind of halter style. I would cut these stupid things out. Um, when a dress is cut like this with straps, and it's like kind of skinny, it's like not gonna fall off hangers. Do we still need to put the ribbon things on? Are we still like, do people still hang their stuff? 
that way. It doesn't have pockets. I do kind of wish it had pockets. But I like the print. I feel like the print is distracting. My gosh, like every single side shot, I feel so much whiter than I had been. I don't know if the summer has been kind. I've been running a lot. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. But um, yeah, this is super cute from the front. I don't like anything from the side today. So I think this is maybe a keeper and it's $108. I was used to get my discount. I might look on Poshmark. It's horrible, right? Maybe not, we'll see. I have the final item. It's the sanctuary skirt that she added. And I actually think it's really cute. I think it's too light for my preferences. And I feel like it has this like waist right at my widest part but it is a super duper cute skirt um they're calling it blush and i don't know if i mentioned the price is 88 dollars, which is again pretty steep um i definitely must have raised my prices and if i loved it i would be i'd be all over it um i do the side view so like i said i'm kind of not loving anything from the side but definitely this is the kind of shirt or the kind of skirt that I wouldn't want to wear with like a shorter crop top just because of my shape. I'd want to play up um, the smallest part of my waist. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to watch the playback and I might end up loving it. So far, the free people dress is a standout and that one I am definitely thinking I'm going to keep. Um, I feel like I've got some things coming up that that would be really pretty for. And I do have a late summer wedding. And I feel like that would be a really cute wedding dress, but I need to look into the venue where the wedding is going to be. It's in Kentucky. Um, and I don't know if it's like more formal because that's definitely more like gardeny. So we'll see. Um, I might keep that too because I have some stuff coming up in the first week of August. We'll see. Um, all right, I think that's the end of it. Let me know in the comments what you think I should keep, if anything. And um, I hope everybody's doing great and it's good to be back. And um, thanks for watching. All right, bye everybody.